The Red Wings. I like that second. Yeah. Okay, under Miller and Trouba, that second pair, they can stop the opposing team's best. Here, still get their butts kicked. Five shots in the game, and he's late from that power play situation. He and Miller going to get to a pair, so we're losing one nothing. And just sending weapons up front, and they may get the best goal from the National Hockey this season. So they're extremely well coached under Gerard Gallant, who took an expansion team, remember, to the Stanley Cup final. I don't think he gets enough credit for what he did that year. He said that. The goalie for the Rangers, Shusterkin, he might be the best in the National Hockey League. He's the favorite team in the best. Uh, I asked Jeff Blasher that question in the pregame, and he said, yeah, probably, although let's not leave out Andre Vasilevsky. Where do you rank the best goalies in hockey right now? Yeah, Vasilevsky to me is still the best, and again, he, he's in the winning business, just like his, his teammates, the Tampa Lightning. So they've done a come playoff season, and, you know, Jim Alvey's records in the regular season, Matthews got 58 goals from Toronto, and... It all sounds great right now, and Versailles moving up quickly again. It doesn't mean a thing if you lose in the opening round of the playoffs, so people forget about it. So it's all about the win, so getting Andre Vasilevsky to nod. Well, looking at the Red Wings schedule, and we talk about eight games left, including this one. They're going to play Florida a couple times. They're going to play Tampa, Pittsburgh, Toronto. You look at this stretch run for the Red Wings, and I liked what Alex Nedeljkovic said earlier this week, where, hey, we had high expectations. We wanted to make the playoffs. That's not going to happen, but we still got a lot to play for. What's it like being in that locker room? What are some of the things going through those guys' heads as they try to wrap up this season? Well, it's, it's again, they're in the winning business, Jim, and that's what they're, they're paid to do. So it, it's nothing new for them. They've done it their entire life. Like, every game you play, you want to win the game. So it doesn't matter what your record was or what it is. It's... it's just this game you're playing and you want to win the next one and you know it's funny sometimes that you get wrapped up and I, I catch myself at times you just in our business and stuff we're continually looking at numbers and statistics right. and some of these statistics can say wow that, that team has just got to be unbelievable just like the Florida Pants I mentioned plus 94 goal differential we're going to play them tomorrow they're well rested we're coming back from New York today it won't matter when the puck is dropped tomorrow little season arena they're all NHL players and they like to win games and they're going to do everything they possibly can to win that game and they can do it. Florida Panthers, nine straight wins. They'll try to make it 10 tomorrow. The Wings will obviously try to snap that win streak. They're two points back to Colorado for the President's Trophy right now. If you had to handicap it right now, or if you just as a hockey fan looking on the outside, who do you think ends up with that President's Trophy? I think it's going to be... Jeez, that's a tough one. I think it's going to be the Florida Panthers. I think Colorado's missing Lennis, Doug, and Kadri. Yeah. I think it might catch up to them, but uh, it's going to be a battle between those two teams. Ekblad's still out for the Florida Panthers. He's huge. He's their best defenseman. They say she'll be back for the playoffs, but, uh, you know, it's going to be a battle of those two teams, two outstanding teams. But, again, no one will be shocked if either of those two teams get knocked off in the opening round, especially if the Vegas Golden Knights can somehow sneak into the playoffs. Yeah, I like them to get in. I'm happy you brought them up. Two points back, they've been a different team with Jack Eichel back, and they've got a big game coming up today, a couple hours against Edmonton. Do you like them to make it? You know, I, I, you know, I wasn't a big fan of Jack Eichel's, and, uh, but all he went through there, the Buffalo Sabres, and how it all turned out, and uh, such a negative feeling, and went back and got booed mercifully in that, that game against uh, his former team, but uh, he went through the surgery. I give him credit, but Stone up front, Mark Stone, uh, Pat Zaretti, uh, Petrangelo back on the blue line, Lehner in goal, Jack's a big good part of it for sure, but uh, they have so many weapons, and that team, if they get in the playoffs, definitely could win the Stanley Cup. All right, Paul, I want to wrap on this, Mike Bossy passing away. I mean, I know if you look at some of the all-time greats, his name comes up. I don't know if you have a memory, a story, a thought on, on Bossy, of course, the driving force, a driving force on those four Stanley Cups with the Islanders. He really was, you know, Jim, and again, and again, that line was something else, and, you know, I heard, it, I heard him speaking, people speaking last night, and uh, again, uh, just a terrible, you know, loss for the New York Downers and, and his family, but uh, he was such an important player, but him and Brian Trotte played together for almost 10 years. They stayed in the same line for 10 years, and I was thinking in today's game, it hardly lasts a, a game, sometimes not even a period. They're juggling the lines up, and Clark Gillis, the other side, he passed away the same year. Big, strong, toughest guy in the National Hockey League, but yet a 30-goal scorer. It was just an amazing line, and, you know, I had a chance to play against Bossy a lot uh, defensively, and 
I think of the same thing. These these teams like the Islanders and, and the Montreal Canadiens and the Oilers that won those multiple Stanley Cups, all the players in those teams have such respect for the game. It's never about them. It's only about the team. And then I think back to our Stanley Cup champion teams in Detroit here, it's the same thing. It was all about the team. And you never heard Mike Bossy going on and on about his scoring records or who's the best <laughs> goal scorer of all time. Or, yeah. The things he did scoring nine consecutive 50 goal seasons, so I have great respect for Mike Bossy, and that's just a terrible loss for the NHL. Of course, Paul Woods will get you a second to catch your breath. Third period coming up on the Detroit Red Wings Radio Network. Here are five big reasons to buy a Toyota RAV4. It's the best selling SUV in America. It's incredibly versatile. The electrified RAV4 hybrid delivers 219 horsepower and the best resale value in its class. And the number one reason, the great fuel savings with an EPA estimated 40 MPG. Now through May 2nd, get 2.49 APR financing on a new 22 RAV4 or RAV4 hybrid with approved credit through TFS. Get details at buyatoyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. Thanks for calling the McComb Group. Hey, I'm looking for 45 three quarter class 150 black malleable FMPT unions and a dozen two by three quarter street tees. No problem. Is that low call or delivery? What you're hearing is not an alien encounter. It's called PVF, also known as pipe, valve, and fittings. And at the McComb Group, we speak it fluently. Call us at 833-PIPE-USA when you need an expert who speaks your language. Or go to mccombgroup.com. The McComb Group. We speak PVF, and we're built to say yes. Hi, I'm Mike Dominic, realtor and leader of the Dominic team. Are you planning on buying or selling a home this year? Well, we're ready to drop the gloves and go to work for you. Stick handle your way through the competition, and you'll receive top-notch service, unbeatable communication, a grind line work ethic, and the know-how to get the job done. So call us at 855-4321-KEYS. That's 855-4321-KEYS. I hope. And you'll see. Because the usually they run out. Out by the end of the day. By Keller Williams. Trust the team the pros count on. Whether you are a youth or a collegiate athlete. Active in she did work hard this week. I did. Worked me like a dog. Hard to believe. Yeah. You work me like a dog. Yeah. But I probably shouldn't get you any. She did call the guy in the elevator fat, which was so mean. That was mean, wasn't it? So can, I get, can I get 20 of the chocolate glazed Timbits? Anything else? A large Coke. Is that going to be it for you? That's it. Yep, go for it, honey. Whew, lucky. You're so lucky. Thought they were going to run out. How much did she say it was? Come on, just give me a hand.
last time you were here, they were closed. That's her. Yep. Usually they just, sometimes they just run out. Oh yeah. Give me a lot. Because they've been running out lately. Yeah. they've been out lately. Yeah. Cake mm -hmm. from Ari's. Yeah. I'm getting so fat. 